So now we have to wait for the bloody elevator. <laughs> and we save stay just in case I <laughs> lose the will the to live. <laughs> just in case I look at the wrong thing and die. I think a lot of that sort of thing can be explained by the us making the assumption that maybe Dizzy has some kind of death wish. <laughs> Because he certainly, as we will learn, he certainly has psychological issues to spare. And that will become clearer later. There's a sentient egg in a village of, what, eight people? You know, actually, I don't think he's on caffeine at all. I think he's manic depressive. <laughs> he's just having one of his good days. Yes. Yeah, I know that smile. That's exactly the I, I don't care in a good way smile. Yeah, I'm going to go save my girlfriend from the wizard who isn't there. <laughs> wizard doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Nobody cares about my actions. I'm facing zero opposition but my own incompetence. Yeah, I mean, we escaped from the Troll King's castle and the <sighs> Troll King's just going to go... I'm amazed the fall didn't kill you. I thought that we're going to do a... You fall too, fell too far. Uh. Ah, for, yeah, fortunately, this, that's the one uh, big gun you get at this point, that you, there is no fall damage in this game. There is in one of the other Dizzy games. <laughs> oh, well, how, how nice of them. Actually, in the uh, Dizzy game that immediately follows this, Magicland Dizzy, they introduce a health bar, so you can actually, like, brush past a flaming Take torch a or, yeah. without immediately fucking dying. Did it, did, was here we any... are again with description being slightly more dynamic than we, one would depiction, assume from yes. the from the appearance of the character. Description over depiction. How would you even force open the lid of a well with a crowbar with arms that stubby? You wouldn't be able to get enough leverage, surely. Yeah, yeah not really. He's like a Maybe he just wedged overweight T Rex. Maybe he just wedges it in the crack and then jumps up and down on it, smiling all the all the way. <laughs> so as I've done similar things. Hmm. Ah. I'm beginning to see so much of myself in Dizzy now. This whole thing's becoming bleak and <laughs> I know, depressing. Right? Is, <laughs> He's a character for the ages that everyone can relate to. Yeah, what does he do? Well, he gets around by tumbling unless he touches something remotely dangerous, in which case he dies. And none of his friends give a shit about anything. <laughs> they don't care. They don't help. They're barely existent in his life. And they just stand there. Just stand there. Like and a quest stare. giver in an MMO. Yeah. But yeah, we found a door knocker, which magically opens this door. Don't question it. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a door. <laughs> Um, that's that's what I mean. Like this is the, that was the thing that frustrated me about these games is the inability to perceive. Like I could solve the puzzle if I could even perceive that there was a puzzle to be solved. You know, this is again this is getting quite existential. This is well, welcome you, to life. That that was a door. Yes, you just had to go through it. Well, in the, earlier in the game, if you press use next to that door, you get a clue that says knock and enter, and that troll is still there guarding fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's an important job. He's probably feeling proud of himself. He's know? getting like a He's saying, I did a, I did a good deed today. <laughs> I let that poor retarded egg go back to his family. <laughs> I helped that moon face to disgusting little creature run away. Also note how the mountains appear to be floating in midair. I think, are we going to go down the well now? Maybe they're full of upsidasium. You remember that, uh... No, we're not going down the well now. <laughs> At some point we have to go down the well. Which uh, will lead us to something you might find a little close to home. Oh, uh, good. A little close to home gaming-wise, or a little close to home in my bleak existence-wise? Uh, this is a Both. case of bleak existence. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. I got bored and... Uh, <laughs> you just forgot what you were doing here, and now you're just jumping yeah, around. Yeah, pretty much. I thought I was needed to get something, but, but I didn't. You're just showing off this uh, graphics engine. There you see, I put down that clump of leaves on that piece of railing, and, and now, now, it's it has, now it is fucked up. I'm not sure that happened in every version of the game. People say the Spectrum version of this game was best, but... Yes, here we are in Australia. Where Dizzy is now upside down. <laughs> Not only is he upside down, but he randomly jumps in random directions every now and again, and we will see how much fun that becomes in a few <laughs> minutes. Hi. I'm just going to ruin your gameplay mechanic for no reason. Now, that text box there, as if by magic the shopkeeper appears, that's a reference to a British cartoon show called Mr. Ben. This Hi. game was only released in Europe, I think. This and most of the Dizzy games. And here is an Australian man. Yep. Who I'm, uh, I'm gonna sell him a cow, and he's gonna give me a bean. Do you see where this is leading? Um, no, I, no, I, no I just, and I... we have failed to make friends with the locals. <laughs> now Dizzy's upside down here. In other versions on other like systems, the entire screen would be upside down, not just Dizzy. Mm. Oh, and I forgot to mention your controls are also reversed while you're in Australia. <laughs> Oh, that's 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 fun. I always love that when that happens in video games. Uh, yes, it's a it's a laugh and a half. And uh, this this must be a very robust cottage because you can see a mountain appears to be balanced on its chimney. Well, you know that does happen in Australia quite a lot. Yeah, it's to like it's just, uh, it's just quite standard, really. Yeah, it's a defense measure against the drop bears. <laughs> a clear and persistent threat. 
Uh, yes, if you know that like there's a coin in these places, it's, if there are any coins in these areas, it's a good idea to get them all now while they're here, so to like lessen the backtracking later on. Hey, and the, look, the key. Yes, this is the last key of the game. For some reason, it's in Australia. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Australia. Fuck you. You were burnt by the sun. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 180% humidity now at the yeah, moment. Like, water's just manifesting in the air outside. I have to get here with a scuba tank just in case. No, you didn't. I don't suddenly exaggerate. find myself in, a, like, a swimming stage. Uh, so, yes, now I'm going to very carefully get on this altar, and then Dizzy will randomly jump off to the right, and I'll die again. So, you sure it's not because you bumped, like, shift? Like, it's he's legitimately just randomly jumping? So, now we skip ahead a bit, because I, ac I actually made a mistake at this point, because um, I forgot to restart recording after I'd gotten back to that point, and I only realized I wasn't recording until after I'd solved the... Uh, beanstalk puzzle uh. <laughs> but you but you didn't miss anything honestly yeah i'm sure there was like a, a put, really awesome cut scene of the beanstalk growing. i put the bean in the manure and it says it doesn't grow you have to take the bucket that we found in the castle fill it from that little pool of water and then we use the bucket of water on the manure and then th then it cuts to this the beanstalk <laughs> is just there that's fantastic now we get to climb it this is, the most, have a climbing this is the most interesting part of the game. <laughs> so I made sure we could all watch the whole thing. I'm guessing... Because I want everyone leave. else to experience this the same way I did. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's just... This is just the beginning, my friend. You can't just jump straight up. It wasn't until Crystal Kingdom Dizzy that the game introduced the ability to maneuver your jump in midair. Christ, that'd be so annoying. I think Crystal Kingdom Dizzy would have been... And I can just watch you just trying to work it there going, don't fuck this up, don't fuck this up, not now, please. I think that was Dizzy 8, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> fell gone. I yeah, no, I, could, I, could, I can feel myself grumbling there as well. Just going, uh. So while we're waiting for Dizzy to sort himself out, look, lots of, lots of coins. There are lots of coins to be found in the clouds. Mm. And fuck you! <laughs> that bit of cloud was not solid. But yes, uh, the first Dizzy game was Dizzy Delta Macassum Adventure, which when was... When was that released? Um, would have been the 1980s. The late yeah. 1980s. And I just fell down again. <laughs> and that was a game in which you actually fought an evil wizard, and you actually meet the evil wizard at one point. Hmm. Was it the same sort of style, like sort of platform adventure kind of thing? Yep, exactly the same. Man, you got up that one first. Uh, yeah. I, I think a ninja on that one. I've got this down <laughs> now. <laughs> like, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. The second Dizzy game was Treasure Island Dizzy, which was uh, mentioned earlier, the one that has only one life. And I fell down again. <laughs> and um, that was... In that game, Dizzy was like... Uh, we're going to skip ahead of it. In that game, Dizzy was stuck on a, on a, like a shipwreck on an island. He just had to get home. Simple as that. And the game that followed this one was Magic Land Dizzy, Dizzy 4, which was this, as you can see, quite overtly borrows from nursery rhymes and mm -hmm. like fairy stories. Magic Land Dizzy did to an even greater degree. And we found the Cloud Castle, and now I'm dead. <laughs> because I jumped too far and I fell through a gap in the clouds again. Oh, like a girl, so hubris. That's, that's what I hate about, like, sort of... Yeah. <laughs> we skip ahead again a little bit. Platforming puzzles. The more you fuck them up, the more annoyed and impatient I get, and the more I fuck them up, and it drives me freaking mad. All right, then. We're in the Cloud Castle, which is hovering about 10 feet above the active volcano, so I'm surprised we didn't notice it earlier. <laughs> and there's Daisy! But we can't get can't to get her to, yet. Look like spikes in front yeah, of me there. Spikes in the way, so... We, uh, at the moment, all we needed to do was get the golden egg. That we And do you remember earlier in the game we saw another golden egg? No. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Where was that? Over to the left somewhere, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> it was to the left of the most rightmost point in the game. <laughs> do you want to be a bit more specific? Uh, no. It was underground with the green dragon. Oh, uh, yeah. So, can you see what... And I just remembered, I need another item that I left on the top of the uh, shed there. I am legitimately impressed you managed to bother playing through this. Well, I, nostalgia fueled me. <laughs> I was fueled by nostalgia. Oh, nostalgia lies, though. So many times nostalgia lies. No, no, look who you're talking to, man. Yeah, I suppose. But dude, I, I love nostalgia, too. I mean, I you know, I love these old games. I love, like, I remember going back to games I loved as a kid and then getting, like, you know, 20 minutes in and going, wait, this is excruciating. 
Yeah. It's like there was an older um, Master System game called Action Fighter, which... <laughs> that's, that's such a stupid generic name, isn't it? Yeah, but it was, just, it's, it's, it was, it was kind of a rip-off of... Um, Oh god, what was the name of that? Like Spy, Spy Chase, like that car game where you had a spy car. Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter. That's right. And it, it was actually a really good game. It was also just brutally unforgiving. You had three lives. That was it. You could maybe get more if you shot a magic cat's head on stage seven, and it was just brutal. A magic cat's head. Yes, yeah, just a Japanese. See, game. yeah, eight bit games could do that kind of thing, like Jet Set Willy, where the game starts where you fall down your own toilet. <laughs> Couldn't so, do that in games these days, could I, you? I want that back. I think, like, Suda51 could probably get away with doing, like, a major... <laughs> I mean, he already sort of did that with a lot you know, of his games. I mean, he, I just he totally saw, would, yeah. wouldn't you? A game where you go into the toilet. That would be so Suda51. Well, that and, I mean, you know... Now we've uh, we've mollified the dragon by oh, returning so her egg. Oh, just an angry mother, see? That's, yes. we, we've all learned things today. No, it shouldn't, like, go without saying, if you if I tried to pick up the other egg... It'll go bash it and kill you? She would have torched my fucking face. <laughs> Here's your old child back i'll be taking the other one <laughs> fair is fair <laughs> and that was probably the most generic puzzle in the entire game that was an actual logical puzzle <laughs> and we now have an old thick rug what do you think we do with that um we've already seen the hazard we used to get past it with so that's the thing that i haven't really been attempting to pay attention to the logic of the the the, the problems because i think it'd give me a headache well this is sort of logical well, using a pickaxe against boulders was actually logical. That was. Hey, look who's here! <laughs> How did you get down here? Um, he's hiding because. Uh, Got well, the troll king hasn't shown up again, so presumably he just felt really guilty. And as we can see here, the the dragon mother believes in raising her kids with tough love. <laughs> She's going hatch, hatch, <laughs> you fuckers! I'm not I'm, sitting on you till you hatch. I'm pretty sure I've seen pregnant women say exactly that to their stomachs. Like, actually, no, I have legitimately seen exactly that. Like, just get out of me. You know what? I would. If I was a pregnant woman. This is all your fault. <laughs> um, uh, and we're, we're climbing. <laughs> we're going to climb the beanstalk again. Uh, uh, this is what we need the rug for. We're putting it over, over the spikes. The spikes. To, like, spread out the, um... Diffuse the pressure. Uh, yes, again, we're solving puzzles with science. Mm. That's a, that's a very with, feminine egg. I'll be with you in a moment, love. <laughs> I just need to get money and do a bunch of other shit first. Ah, uh, yes. So, as you can see, the evil wizard, nowhere to be seen. Doesn't <laughs> appear to be anywhere in this castle except this room. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else about that room. And she's so thrilled... That she's going to wave her hands and then immediately stop waving her hands. <laughs> she uh, she, under she understands restraint. That's what Dizzy's never had. Uh, so you just can't wear yourself out, Dizzy. Oh, my hero. I knew you'd come to my wreck, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're playing the death music here. I think they might be making some kind of statement about marriage. Well, you know, love Now, here's death. what we needed the 30 gold coins for. It's because Dizzy's girlfriend is a fucking high-maintenance bitch. They all are. <laughs> Thank you, husband of the year. <laughs> you have to pay her... You have to bring her 30 gold coins, and then you will be happy forever. Oh, I've got a Dizzy's a pimp. Actually, no, wait. Uh, that Daisy's That's the other pimp. way around, yeah. Yes. She's, she's a madam. Also, she's, she's, also, she's an escort. She's also the only female egg in this game. So uh, she's definitely an escort. Yeah, so oh, and how I'm going to speed up to show how long it took me to get the one coin on that cloud. <laughs> because it's a lot harder than it looks. It's Yeah, I can I was, see what you mean. I was on to a bad job for most of this. I eventually figure out how you're supposed to do it, but you'd think yeah, you could I mean, like get it on there from there, wouldn't you? One would presume. Yes. And I fell into the volcano <laughs> again. Oh, thank goodness for save states. Oh, that's that's right. I forgot that's lava. I just kept thinking it's water. Yes. There's also a, a similar volcano in the next game, but uh, you, have to, you actually have to make it start erupting so you can, like, jump across the clouds that it produces ah. as the lava rises. So that's getting more into your LucasArts level of puzzles. Yes. It sounds like something you'd do in Monkey Island. I'm pretty sure that so there was a volcano puzzle in Monkey Island 3. Yes, there was. I remember now. It was when you were on the uh, island. And yeah. there we go. We found the coin. So there's five coins left. Hmm. And at this point, I wasn't, didn't really have a clue where they were. I'm presuming that it's hidden behind piles of shit. Oh, I think I accidentally left in the uh, save state. Now I edited most of them out, but I missed that one. Hey, Dylan, save my girlfriend. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Don't give a shit. <laughs> 
and we are carrying nothing. Just to just to like uh, just to like underline our future life with Daisy. <laughs> you are nothing. <laughs> you you have nothing. Nothing is yours. Yeah. Yes, basically the rest of this video will be tracking down the last few coins and committing suicide into flaming torches because I forgot I had to <laughs> jump from a distance in. And you see, Daisy's empty hut is now a bit of a misnomer because Daisy's there. Hmm. She doesn't believe in, you know, being carried over the threshold, this bitch. <laughs> About this fuck you item, it's a hole. If I picked up this item when I'd been carrying anything, everything I'd been carrying would have just, poof, gone. Never have them back. What a bunch of dicks! I know, right? That's fucking insane. Although interestingly, I could have, I could have used such a thing to get out of the problem caused by the other fuck you item, which we will discover later. Like that's. I, uh, so this is me checking railings. <laughs> see if there's coins behind any of this. This is Aha. riveting. Aha! I did find one. Very careful with their life savings, the yoke folk. <laughs> as long as anybody else around. <laughs> as you can see, Daisy understands the principle of buttering up someone to get some money out of them. <laughs> I just love her next dialogue, though. When, when, as it, when it comes can we up. settle for, like, a cheaper house? I mean... You disappoint <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, this is clearly written by guys who have loads of female friends. Yeah, I'll take your word for it, game. <laughs> She's worth it. She's the only woman. Mm -hmm. Actually, how would that even work? I mean, all of you are basically ovulations. How does gender apply? Um, so at this point, I had no idea where the last coins are, so I had a quick look in the book to see where they are. Would you believe one of them was behind a railing? Huh. It was behind a railing in the same room as the one that was behind a clump of leaves. I didn't think they'd pull that shit twice in one room, but there you uh, go. And these are the kind of people that let you pick up a hole that ruins your game. Because I think that that's, if you can't get those items back, that's your game ruined, son. Back to the start. Pretty much. Well, I mean, imagine you have if to go back to the start often enough. Here's here's another of the hidden coins. If you go here, stand on the very very edge of this platform, and leap off into space, bang. <laughs> I mean, imagine if Modern Warfare 3 had just a ruin game button. You know? Like, just L2, you just couldn't push it, because it would just fucking ruin your game. Oh, I very nearly fucked myself over the, there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to jump the other way, because I had a funny feeling I'd let, probably land in a, like a dog's mouth or something. <laughs> so, yeah, that's something horrible. It's always something horrible in old games. It's the funny just... thing about Modern Warfare is that there's like a collectible side quest in there, where you pick up intel. But every time I play a Modern Warfare game, I've only found out about it in the very last mission of the game, when I pick up <laughs> one piece of intel and go, oh, were there more of these? <laughs> I now pick the, them up and I'm just like, wow, I don't care. Now, the first of the two remaining coins is in this room. Can you guess where? Behind the stoner. <laughs> no, you can't pick up the stoner. Yeah. You can, they're pretty pliable. As I said, Daisy's the only woman in this game. In the next game, though, they introduce uh, another female egg. Thank God. Who uh, doesn't really have a personality except another female egg. And <laughs> uh, I bet Daisy's just glad for the break. Her name's Dora, the other girl. Like, I guess they were running out of D words with the Z's in. Dingus. No, they didn't have a dingus. Oh. There it is. It was behind this clump of leaves all along, naturally. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised and it I took you that long to figure that obvious puzzle out. I wasn't sure where to leave the leaves, so I put them next to a person I know will appreciate them. <laughs> No, no one likes leaf. <laughs> it's, it's gross and it burns your throat. Uh, yeah, so where do you think the last coin in the game is? Mr. Hunty Man, I'll give you a clue. It's somewhere we've been before. <laughs> um, is it down near the troll dude again? You, you motherfucker! What? Ha! Yes! I... You know, I did know that it did this, but it didn't actually click when I was playing this, but there's actually one last coin, and it's in the spot where the troll was standing, in the, in the cell where we started the game. <laughs> Fuck you. I, screw you, Dizzy. I've penetrated your goddamn logic. Yes. So what is that thing? Once that's the other fuck you item. Ah, well, this is where we learn that uh, as well as being a manic depressive, Dizzy is also a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> it's a bottle of whiskey. And well, Alex, uh, we will demonstrate why it's a fuck you item after I've gotten this last coin. You're fond of whiskey, aren't you? Yes. I've never had a taste for it myself. 
I'm more well, of a, I, I'm more of a, a rum and uh, cider sort of man. Well, see, I, I do prefer like rum. Like I, I, I do prefer rum, but yes. I will. I want to know what kind of being owned that skeleton in the background because it wasn't an egg. It's yes, the one humanoid thing in this entire universe. Yes, perhaps this is some kind of post-apocalyptic vision. <laughs> yeah, it's just nothing left and somehow the eggs attained sentience. It's one of the programmers, I'm guessing. Maybe they're all like half-born chicks. Yeah, or like axolotl versions of humans. They just We entered this bizarre pupa stage and just stayed there. So yes, as I said, Dizzy is a recovering alcoholic. And that means that uh, if you're carrying a bottle of whiskey... You can't actually put it down, because if you try, Dizzy will just chug the whole thing and immediately fall into the water and die. That's actually, priceless. you don't immediately fall in the water and die, but when you chug the whiskey... You just go wandering off. Your controls basically randomly reverse and unreverse. <laughs> God. To, to like, it's, represent drunken staggering, I this suppose. This game is like my autobiography. <laughs> So now we've got all 30 coins, yay! Now we can go back to our bitch girlfriend and start our new <laughs> life as a henpecked, emasculated <laughs> chicken ovulation, or half-born uh, chicken, or whatever we are. Watching us sleep with her friends anyway. You know the box art of this game, Dizzy's depicted wearing a hat. I don't see that a was, fucking yeah, hat, do you? Was, that was, like, the first thing I, I went to was a box art, and I swear he had a, like a sun hat or something. He wore an explorer's hat, because this is quite yeah. an explosion in face game. Better have a quick nip of courage before we confront the <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> uh, it takes surprisingly <laughs> long to get to her now. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is exactly... Uh, Come on, yeah. Dizzy, man up, man. Or egg like, up, man. Yeah, I feel like linking this exact, like, this end bit to at least three girls I know. <laughs> Just... I feel like playing, like, <laughs> like the baby elephant walk at this point. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just gotta get that one little glint of whiskey Come in Come on, have some courage. <laughs> yes, there we go. And she's so surprised. It's like, she didn't even <laughs> believe that would work. <laughs> And thus begins Dizzy's new life of being belittled and insulted every fucking day of his life. Wait, did you just scream liar at him? Well, that's the weird thing. Uh, it said liar, but it wasn't in her text colour. And it wasn't in quotes. So presumably it was the game calling him a liar. Yeah, uh, right. The narrator saying, ho oh, oh, ho, you big lying egg. <laughs> and that's our big ending. A little bit Hooray. of meta. Oh yeah, there's a cast of characters there. Yes. Who was your favourite yoke folk? Dylan. <laughs> I used to be him. That was, a, that was a different time and a different life. But you are him now. Well, yeah, now I'd really. say right now you're more like Dozy. Uh, a little. Get a fucking job. <laughs> Make me. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this discovery into my childhood. I get to pick the next game. <laughs> Fine, but you can record the playthrough video. Yeah, all right. I spent all weekend making this one. <laughs> I've already. Uh... I've already got it because it's okay. Look, what systems did you own? Because I want to pick something you haven't played. Commodore sixty four, Amiga six hundred, Amiga CD thirty two. God, you were the, like the weird sort of PC kid, weren't you? <laughs> um, and after that, a Master System. Ah, oh, damn! Because well, I was I was going to pick a Master System game, but you've probably already played it. I did. Well, I haven't played many Master System games because I didn't have much money then. I did. I did play Alex Kid and Miracle World. That was the one I was going to pick. Uh, well, because I actually quite like that game. Like, I am quite fond of it. I think it's a good game. Sing along. Until my teeth grit. It was like I used to have the little like the Jenkins theme on my phone and would play it like whenever I saw people about to do scissors, paper, rock, and it was great because every now and then if you get someone of the right age, you'd see their brain click and then just go, "Oh yeah, I understand this now." I actually beat that game. I was actually thinking of doing more of the Dizzy games, but I do want to see more of these games. Actually, I'm curious if they ever get any better. I think the next game is actually substantially longer and more in depth. Did they get... <laughs> it's still fucking hard. <laughs> Did they ever get onto major consoles, the Dizzy games? Well, it's funny you should say that. Although the I games generally weren't released outside Europe, there was a game released, I think, on the Sega Genesis. Because that's, yeah, that's... That was released in America. I think it was called Fantastic Dizzy or Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. That was basically a, an amalgam game of all games up to that point. Huh. So there you go. Awesome. It's like a combo. I would save an awful lot of time and... Well, I'd say money, but not really. Because Dizzy was was a big name in the English video game scene. That was back when there was that kind of regionalization of what was popular. Yeah. Because that was the thing, like, Sega was really big in the, like, was it? Like, yeah, Sega was, and... Sega was way bigger in the UK than Nintendo, because yeah. Nintendo basically completely fucked over the release <laughs> of the NES. Yeah, they just said, screw it. 
I've been thinking about that lately, though, how, like, Nintendo just keeps digging back into its past to turn them in things into huge successes, like, from the, you know, the Power Glove, we got the Wii. Mm. I mean, the, well, the, the, the huge Virtual success Boy. Yeah, and that's... massive quotes. <laughs> money. And he made money. Not a massive critical success, or at least not by my reckoning. Um, then from the Virtual Boy, they finally went to the 3DS. And I'm guessing now it's going to go to Rob. So I'm presuming Nintendo's <laughs> going to release some sort of Asmo style thing that's going to run around the house and be my friend. Nintendo's going to release a robot friend, a, re- a real doll a made to look like friend. Princess Zelda. <laughs> uh, I already have one of those. 